Welcome back guys to another installation video on the Alpha. So stoked to have these sleds, so stoked to be able to go riding with some of the great ones that we sponsor. And also super grateful to the many companies that are helping us build these sleds as well. And today we're gonna start working on also taking off this bumper and putting on a backwoods as well. We're gonna start this one and it'll kind of restart with a whole different background. We're gonna get these bumpers off so we can get the sled wrapped and then we're gonna put the bumpers over top of the wrap. So I've already kind of forgot to turn on the camera for a second, but I dropped the skid down so I can get at some of these rivets here all on the side. And there's some way up front, which is why I dropped this skid. So we're gonna drill those out and we'll have to take out the tail light here as well. We are gonna end up chopping this tunnel. So this is a 165 inch track. I got 154 bumpers. So it's kind of nice. All it is is just a long that changes all the hookups that'll go around the the leg uh, the running boards here so uh, we're gonna end up cutting the tunnel but we'll do that after we get the sled wrapped and we'll take care of that but we do got to get uh, the mud flap off or the snow flap and the bumper so let's get to it one thing to note here you will need uh, to take out this nut and bolt on the inside I don't know if you guys can see it up in this corner it is an allen or a hex head I know there's some people call them different names, but that's what I call them anyway. All the rest are rivets. Make sure you got a small enough drill bit so that you just don't spin the head around. You can, you can uh, drill out the core. So now that you got the slip back from wrap after you got the bumper off, we can use and um, use the cigarette holes here from the backwoods bumper and use that to kind of be our guide to where we got to cut the tunnel. Talk to AJ for the wrap. We'll be able to cut through and then just use a heat gun to uh, seal the wrap back up. So I got my line draw. We're gonna be able to cut the tunnel across and that's our scent as a handle, which is right here. Lines up with holes on the other side and it goes nice and up and over. Another cool product we got for the Alpha are these running boards from Pin. These are actually pretty simple where they just kind of lay over your existing running boards. Use the current full holes in the back and allows you to cut open these holes for a lot more snow travel to go in and it doesn't replace your whole board. So as per instructions, since we read the bumper off, we have these these holes drilled and ready. And then on 2021 and newer Articats, there is this chain case brace right here. You will need to get rid of two of uh, get rid of this uh, one rivet for sure as it'll get replaced it lines pretty close to fairly up there and so it can also fit flush. You will find that on the instructions there as well. But other than that, I'm gonna get these lined up. We're gonna trace them out and then we'll use a sawzall or another cutting tool to uh, cut out the holes. We'll lay them in, drill the rest of the holes, <coughs> and get these put in. You will need to use washers on the outer edge here. It is uh, required according to instructions from Trevor over at Pint. The things are going to be sweet. They're red. They blend in with the wrap nice. I'm excited to use them and definitely excited not to be uh, always trying to dig out my running boards when they fill up with snow out west. We got these we got these drilled out here we got that one uh, rivet from the chain case going so after we get this all lined up have nice and open uh, running boards that will not trap any snow but follow the directions where you got to put a put a washer underneath here on the outside otherwise because this isn't quite an even surface so we'll put the washers in and we will rivet away beautiful finish after getting these pin performance running boards on on this ascender chassis alpha nice good finish put the washers underneath on the outside it's going to let a lot of snow travel out compared to stock big thank you to trevor over at pin performance to get it set up can't wait to test these things out here in just a short amount of time finished product of the backwoods bmp bumper install 
Got the handle put on, got the taillight reassembled after the tunnel cut. This turned out really good as well. Another big thank you to the guys over at Backwoods BMP for getting us set up on this. It's going to make that tunnel so much stronger as you know that all manufacturers making these sleds light nowadays that everything kind of gets thinned down. But these bumpers are going to make sure it's solid in case anything were to happen. It's still going to be rocks hard solid. Coming up next year we'll be doing some more install videos. Make sure you guys check them out.